Hey guys, Fortune here. So as the season seven draws to a close, I want to do a video telling you guys of some champions in the jungle that you can be playing for some quick boosts in your elo climb. There are some champions in league that are really good, but take a bit of practice to learn. You need to know how to play them both stylistically and just in general. As a champion, someone like Kane, for example, I think is a really solid jungler. Definitely worth learning and picking up, but because we've only got a few weeks till the season ends, I wouldn't necessarily recommend him for you right now because you want to get something that works right now. You don't want to have a learning curve, you want to jump into it and reap the benefits straight away. So in this video I'm going to suggest some junglers that can do just that. Easy to play, very effective, let's get cracking. Now I'm making this video in partnership with Pro Guys for sponsoring today's video, help me with the editing as well. If you don't know who Pro Guys is, they're a website that helps you to identify your weaknesses, overall helps you to become a better League of Legends player. So that might be something that can help you, especially towards this last push of the ranked season. I'll put a link to them down below in the description where you can check them out. But anyway, moving on with the video. Now I'm going to recommend four champions in this video and the first of those is pretty much the strongest jungler in my opinion around right now, Sejuani. Sejuani has been for a long time the champion that I just ban every single game that I play. Like I don't even try and get her myself because I, I don't personally find her that interesting but she's just so damn strong versus pretty much anything you play against. Like you can pick her blind into whatever and she's really solid. She's pretty good in the early game, like her ganks aren't too bad. She's, she's, not, she's not the highest impact early game jungler, but she's still fine. And more importantly, she transitions into this absolute beast that's really good at team fighting and more importantly than that, initiating team fights. Having the power of initiation, being able to pull the trigger for yourself means that your team can follow up your plays and you can decide what fights you want to take and more importantly you can decide the good fights to take. So if you really like those tanky junglers, those team fight champions, I would recommend Sejuani to you 100%. Now the downside of Sejuani is that because she's so strong, uh, she's not like a hidden OP or anything like that, I think a lot of people know she's strong, so you might struggle to get her. She's banned a lot, especially for playing versus me, uh, and she's also picked fairly frequently too. So someone like Jarvan, who's the second champion I want to recommend here, uh, is a good balance between very strong, pretty easy to play, uh, but someone who isn't contested quite as much. I personally been playing Jarvan a lot, and what I really like about him is that in the early game, he's basically just like another physical damage jungle bruiser. You know, someone like Lee Sin or something like that. But with Jarvan, you can transition into being this primary engage, the first initiator, which like I mentioned with Sejuan, is really good for solo queue because you can pull the trigger, start plays, get good fights. And you can also play the role of that tank, which I feel like right now, uh, for a jungler at least, it's quite important to do. You also have the alternative of playing Jarvan with more AD rather than just having to go full tank. So if you want to go for like Warrior Enchant even, Black Cleaver, even like Dustblade if you're against like really squishy teams. Jarvan can fulfill that role of being able to snowball the game really hard, playing versus squishies, just go full damage and one shot enemy carries. But if you want to move away from that kind of like meta slave, tanky initiating kind of champion, then Ez is a really, really good choice. Ez is a bit more cheesy because what he's good at doing is fighting specifically level two. So you either invade the enemy jungler and kill him or harass him and take his jungle, or you just like level two gank top or mid, pretty much at the same time as they arrive into their lane. There's a high chance that you'll get success from those strategies. And the thing is that Ez is still relatively new, especially in lower elo, to the extent where people don't really respect your level two plays with red buff. So when you're playing Ez, start at red, level two gank mid or top, and just snowball from that. Maybe when people are a bit more used to how he works, they'll start playing around him a bit more. I know, at least in high relo, the higher I get, like if I'm playing versus like high diamond master tier players, they know how Ez works and they respect that level two. But if you're anywhere lower than that, which you probably are if you're watching this video, then people aren't gonna respect Ez and you can choose some really hard level two. And the last video for this list, kind of a new one, I guess, Xin Zhao. It's not really much to say about this one because he's just a new champion so people don't really know how he works, they don't really know how to play against him. I guess a little bit like Ez in that sense. But more specifically, he's easy to play and I actually think he's really strong, just objectively speaking, and people just haven't really figured it out yet. He's a great fighter champion, so you can just build like Warrior Enchant, Triforce, and then Tanky. But because of his ultimate, he can also jump in and start plays without having to worry too much about just dying straight away. But he's a really strong 1v1 champion and a very solid ganker as well. And like I said, not hard to play, so you won't struggle with that. So that about does it. Those are four champions that I would recommend for you 
coming into the end of the season if you just want to get some quick elo easy to pick up very effective champions and i think that's all i want to say for this video so thanks so much for watching i hope you have a fantastic day don't forget to leave a cheeky thumbs up if you liked the video subscribe to me for more little leggings content and you can find me on facebook twitter and catch you streaming at twitch.tv slash thanks so much for watching guys have a great day and i will see you in my next video